Hello there, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a coming soon banner in Adobe Photoshop. So to start with, I've got my graphic here, my image. The canvas size is 970 pixels wide, 500 pixels high. And we're going to start by selecting the type tool, left clicking anywhere on the canvas and typing our text. So the text is going to be coming soon, all capital letters. I've chosen the font railway and the font weight extra bold. So we'll leave this white for now. Next, let's select the rectangle tool and just create a horizontal rectangle. Make sure you drag this layer underneath the coming soon layer and make sure also that the text is center aligned up here and then hold shift to select both the text layer and the rectangle layer and make sure that they are both vertically and horizontally aligned. And you can zoom in and just check that the spacing top and bottom is accurate and equal. So we could select the rectangle, go to edit, free transform, hold the alt key and we can adjust this from both sides so we can make it wider or narrower as we like. Now you can press enter or double click once you're happy. Next we're going to choose a color so we can double click our rectangle layer and select something that complements the image. So we've kind of got some pinky purple hues coming from the clouds so let's see if we can select something that will complement that. There we go that looks good to me. Now what you can do for this next bit is you can duplicate both layers so right click select duplicate layers and click OK and then what I like to do personally is just keep a copy so I'll hide these two here just because they are perfectly unaltered unrotated and what can happen sometimes is when you get lost in design you can start rotating things like as you can see here 8.25 degrees and suddenly if I want to reset this back to being perfectly straight unless I've remembered that 8.25 degree angle I'm gonna to have to do it manually and then that's when things start looking wonky and not straight so personally I like to keep a copy where it's perfectly horizontal just while I'm designing and uh, something else you can also do to avoid this is with our text and rectangle layer selected go to edit free transform and when you rotate rotate holding shift as well if you look at the top of the screen it will rotate in 15 degree increments so there's a big difference between 15 degrees and say 45 degrees so if you do rotate 15 degrees and you want to rotate back you just hold shift and you know that you'll always be rotating in increments of 15 degrees so anyway let's go up to edit free transform and we'll do just that we'll rotate I think at 30 degrees and just position this over here. So for a moment let's just assume that our canvas is a little bit higher so I'm just going to make this 800 for now and if I just create a box so this box at the top here this is going to be representing some other content Okay, so we have some other content up here and we have our coming soon banner and it's sticking out into that content and we don't want that. So if we select the rectangle there, what we can do is we can apply a layer mask at the bottom of the layers palette. Just zoom in, select the marquee tool and just drag over this top part here. Everything that extends outside of our image. And with black selected as our foreground color and the brush tool selected, we can just paint into that mask and it will remove that section. And you can do the same if your image doesn't touch the edge of the page. So if you created a banner and it sat in the middle of the page, you can also mask off both the top and the right side. Okay, so let's go back to where we were. That's just a handy little tip if you are working on a very long page design with lots of different sections and you want to crop your coming soon banner rather than have it run into other content. 
So the last thing we can do is select our rectangle and we can adjust the opacity. So we can bring this down. You can see you get this nice effect coming through with the clouds in the background showing through. So sometimes it's quite nice to just have uh, a slight opacity just to let a little bit of the background show through so it's not totally opaque. And there is one last thing that I'm going to do actually and that's right click on the coming soon layer and select blending options and on the first screen, the blending options screen, I'm just going to take the advanced blending fill all the way down and I'm going to select knockout as shallow and click OK. And then if I hold shift to select both the rectangle and the coming soon layer and I press command or control G to group these together, you'll see that what it does is it actually knocks out that text from the rectangle layer below. And there we go, that's how we create a coming soon banner in Adobe Photoshop. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.